with input prices escalating and food shortages throughout the world, canola farmers are on a quest for better yields. The quest for the canola crown. Through in-crop management and advancing agronomy practices, several of the most unique farmers from across Canada are reaching for record-breaking yields, even while facing the tough growing conditions of the true north. In the breadbasket of Canada, on the southern prairies, lies the small Saskatchewan city of Yorkton. G&H Grain Farms is a fairly new face to the Canadian landscape. Far from being strangers to the hard work of a farming lifestyle, the family farm has thrived in the past seven years on Canadian soil. So I'm Bjorn. I uh, grew up in the southern part of Holland where my grandpa started a farm. Dad eventually took over and dad grew a lot. Um, had a lot of sheep at one point. Uh, we had a thousand of them actually at one point. Still did a little bit of grain farming grew potatoes, grew onions, um, canola, wheat, grew to about 150 acres roughly. It was just very tough to, uh, to expand. Well, we looked at Canada and that kind of instantly stole our heart. So in January of 2015, uh, we moved to Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Uh, after that, I went to Lakeland College in Vermilion, which is an egg college. Uh, learned a lot there, got to know some more people, doing the same thing as I am, farming with dad. Yeah, it was really cool. So we farm a total of just over 7,500 acres now. Usually about 50 to 55 percent, so about 3,500 acres this year will be canola. We're trying our best to, yeah, just give the crop what it needs. The yields are, I would say, probably one of the best areas here around in Saskatchewan anyway. Unless, like last year wasn't very good here. We were very dry, had nice rains in May. And then all of a sudden the top shut off, so no rain throughout the year. It's been, well, very cold this year, this winter. Uh, we had a lot of snow and it kind of stayed cool right up until, well, about a week ago or so. And so snow's finally melted. Frost isn't quite out of the ground yet, anyway. Uh, well, we've been getting lots of rain actually this last week, uh, which, well, we'll definitely take it for this year since we're so dry from last year, but uh, waiting still, so. Situated between Riding Mountain National Park and Duck Mountain Provincial Park, the Andrus family have been pillars in the small farming community of Roblin, Manitoba for over 50 years. Craig and Jeremy Andrus run the third generation diverse farming operation in the beautiful rolling forested hills outside of Roblin. Hi, I'm Craig Andrus. I'm from Roblin, Manitoba, and I farm at Andrus Stock and Seed, and I'm also a grain marketing advisor for Farm Lake Marketing Solutions out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm Craig's younger brother, Jeremy Andrus. Uh, I've got a, a grain operation, cow-calf beef operation, and uh, also run a seed retail business for Pioneer Hybrid. My grandpa purchased this farm in uh, 1965, Obviously, my, my dad grew up here. Dad's kind of, well, I don't know if you want to call him retired or not, I guess, right? He's not, uh, he's still out here every day, but he's not considered himself a farmer anymore, I guess, right? So, 
Um, yeah, we're lucky enough he gave us a real good start and be able to keep doing what both of us love, that's for sure. So this year so far is kind of going eerily similar to 2004 is the year I always remember. Really wet spring, um, late seeding. Um, that particular year was extreme. I mean, Western Canada basically had a frost on August the 20th um, and a major frost. That basically cut, you know, production by 75% or more in some cases right across the whole, the whole prairie. So that year, not only did you have late seeding, but you had an early fall frost that just wiped out yields. So, I mean, we're listening to the rain bang on the tin in the shed while we're, so it's, it's not certainly ideal conditions. You look at the calendar and that crop has to go in by such and such a day or you, you, you stand, you know, substantial risk of, of do getting frost on the back end. Part of what makes this area such a good canola area with the cooler climate and the cooler nights is, is part of a detriment too because we have such a short season and then risk of frost on the back end so it's you have to take a little of the good with the bad but to try to manage it. We're not perfect by any stretch right um, we've learned a lot and we're, we're happy to learn more and willing to learn more right to do a better job than we've done so far right there's a huge amount of opportunity and things that we know we can do better at and um, the ability to want to learn and want to do a better job, right? That's the thing I get most excited about.